Hi guys, um, I'm back doing another live just because there was one question that I wanted to answer. I'm not sure, sure who um, said it. Sorry, my hair is like all over the place. I just got done driving. But, uh, oh my gosh, I got someone in my throat. <coughs> um, there was this one really, really good question that uh, someone asked me. And it was like literally 15 seconds before the video ending because it ends at like 59 59 um, but it was I really wanted to answer it because it's a really good story and I get it a lot and everyone always asks like where did you get into Halo or how did you get into Halo and I'm about to tell you so sit down little girls and boys I'm about to tell you a story about how I became a Halo fanatic all right, so start off when I was about four years old. I <laughs> know um, I was homeschooled because I was really sick, uh, and they were trying to prep me for uh, going back to regular school because they really wanted me to just jump ahead in school. Um, but they were trying to just get me ahead in case if I did get sick again, I wouldn't be too behind. And I was on our little computer that's a Microsoft like. 19, like 98 block that's just a white block and it could barely sustain like any type of computer program. It was a crap show. But uh, I went on and I was doing uh, like some jumpstart something for like preschoolers and it was so much fun by the way. Math Blasters for the win. Uh, I was playing it and then I saw there was this ad and it said Halo Combat Evolved download now to play and I was like that looks badass okay I want that so I clicked on it I spent like three hours trying to download it only to realize um, after I was talking to my brother because I, I was four years old how was I supposed to know um, our computer was just not compatible with it and obviously it like costs money to try it and all that stuff but, yeah, that was back in 2004. Uh, I'm only 19 now, so, <laughs> yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, that's when I first saw it. And ever since then, I've just been, like, super, super into it. I never really had an Xbox until I was about 11. So that was 2011. Um, and that's, I, I mean, I had an Xbox a little bit before that, but I didn't have Xbox Live and my parents were super religious and totally against me using it, so it was very restricted. Uh, but that's one of the reasons they would let me play Halo more often, is because Halo was one of the games that was a little bit less violent. Um, but, so, up until that point, I just, from the time I was four till I was, like, 11, I sat there and researched it as much as I possibly could because it just intrigued me. It looked like such a cool game. Um, I watched, I got into Red vs. Blue, um, like, when they only had season, like, three or four out. So, yeah. Um, I got into that. Um, I would go onto funnyvideos.com before YouTube and look up Halo videos and watch peanut butter jelly time videos on Combat Evolved. <laughs> People jumping off cliffs and stuff. Yeah, no, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, hey guys. Uh, but, so I just researched it more and more and more. It just intrigued me so much to finally, I just begged my parents. It's all I wanted for like three years straight. My birthday, Christmas, all I was like, all I want, like, is an Xbox. I mean, for three, if you want to, skip my birthday and just get me an Xbox for Christmas. Um, and we finally got it. I put in the the anniversary disc because th that was how, like, when I was 11, that was the newest one out, um, was the anniversary, Combat Evolved anniversary. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm so behind because everyone's played all these games and I'm playing the remastered version of Combat Evolved. And I'm like, I feel like such a noob. Even though I knew pretty much everything about the game at that point, except for, like, the deep, deep lore. Um, and I put the, the disc in, and you know how it's, like, comes up and there's, like, this, this beach-looking thing, and it just starts playing, and I was just, 
in tears, bawling my eyes out. I was like, oh my god, it's, it's happening, it's finally so beautiful. Ah. I literally was in tears. Uh, my mom thought I was... <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you, I'm not a new... Oh, and hello, I notice you some. I notice you. Don't you, don't you worry. I notice you, don't worry. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... <clears throat> That's kind of like how it went for a bit. Sorry, it's hotter than hell in here. Oh, I got like fans blowing on me. And also I'm trying to air out this helmet because I'm repainting. Look at how beautiful that looks, by the way. Look at that. Look at that paint job. Mm. But uh, I'm trying to air it everything out. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how I kind of got into it. Then from Halo CE, well, Anniversary, Obviously, you can play the original one on it, too. Like, you're going to switch the graphics. I played Reach. And then I got Reach, like, next, within the next couple months. And then the next couple months after that, I got three, and then two. Wait, no, I got three, then four, then two, then five. Oh, and I also said ODST. I got ODST when I got three, also. So, and then I didn't recently play the um, Halo Wars series until like the past couple of years like I think I got it like two years ago everyone's like you have to play it I'm like I'm a FPS I don't want to play your stupid strategy game and then I played it and I've been playing it ever since so <laughs> yeah I'm that person um but yeah so that was how I got into it it wasn't until I was probably about 16 um when I really got into it. I mean, when I was 14, I was playing competitively against semi-pros, and I was, they were trying to, like, draft me into different teams and figure out, like, which team would be better for my playing style, but then my com my parents completely, like, took away my Xbox. They're like, you're not allowed to play because you're playing with people that are random. You're uh, also, like, wasting your life away playing these video games. But then the team I was supposed to go into won like $10,000 each that next year. So I'm just like, hmm, parents. And then I show, oh my gosh, I showed my mom that this this team won $2 million playing Dota 2. And she's like, oh, why didn't you do that, Elise? And I'm like, oh, well, hmm, if we really want to get into that, we'll get into that. But, so yeah. But they're cool. They're chill now. Just they were a little bit kind of crazy when I was younger. But they're really chill now. They're cool. Um, they respect me spending money on Halo stuff ish kind of not really but whatever um yeah so <laughs> that was my experience so I was when I was playing Halo Reach um you could actually in a couple months I'm gonna be wearing my competitive Halo armor that I played when I was playing competitively so you'll be seeing that and it's my OG competitive armor it doesn't have any of the big nice bulky stuff because I wanted to keep my hip back smaller um but, yeah, so when I was playing Halo Reach, I was really into it. I got up to um, being an inheritor. My parents took my Xbox away. My whole account got pretty much reset, and I even had to get a new account. That's why I don't have my OG Xbox account. Mine actually used to be Mistress Chief, like, with two S's. It was, like, the OG gamer tag, like, the real gamer tag. So I don't know who has it now, but that was mine. And then I had to make a completely new account with just one S because I couldn't retrieve my OG real account, which, thank you very much, I was the first. I don't care. I was the first. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't, I don't hold, hold anything against anyone. But, um, so Halo Reach was really, really big for me, and I feel like that was one of my favorite multiplayers because of it. I was just, that was my time. Uh, but... Halo 4 I actually really enjoyed. I did not like how there was no competitive aspect because there was zero bloom, there was no descope, the spawns are wacky, but besides that it was a great game. Um, the story was a great game, but still, like, that's basically how I got into Halo. And then when I was 16 I got into the lore. Um, so that's pretty much how it all came to be. I started getting lore books and I started getting, like, like, you know, like, the big lore black book that you can get. And then I would get the regular, just start off with Fall of Reach. And ever since then, it's just escalated into a terrible snowball of me wasting time learning Halo. Okay, it's not wasting time. It is investing time into reading Halo lore. 
and watching Hidden Xperia. If you haven't watched him, you need to watch him. What are you doing with your life? Um, so, yeah. Okay, favorite book in the lore. Oh, oh, hi everyone. Sorry, I've been so just... Sorry, I've just been so, like, concentrated on telling my story. I haven't even been reading the comments. Um, hey, favorite book in the lore. Honestly, I loved Fall of Reach. I know it's very basic, and it was, like, my first book. But holy crap, it made Master Chief look like a ninja. He is a ninja. I don't care. Everyone's like, oh, the Doom guy can kill him. Like, all these other people kill him. I'm like, he could run on a wall and see him pretty much 99% blackness. Who else can do that? Okay? He kicked a guy barefoot with exosuit and a, an exosuit and impaled him inside the exosuit and killed him. I don't know anyone else that can do that with their bare foot without hurting themselves, okay? Besides Captain America. And guess what? Still, Master Chief can kill Captain America, I don't care. Um, so that's, sorry. Um, if you guys haven't read Fall of Reach, read it. If you have read it, read it again. Okay. Alright. Um, am I riding to Area 51 with the Halo suit? I wish that would be so much fun partying with a bunch of other just people in front of Area 51. Because there's no way I would even get close to it. I would get, like, somewhat close to it just to say, oh, hi, I'm here. And then I would go and party. But um, that would be awesome. But we already have plans to go to Halo Outpost. And that's way too much money to spend for us right now. And I think it's just, there's only going to be, like, five people that show up. And I think they're just going to go and drink beers together. That's my personal opinion. Um, one Punch... Okay, One Punch Man is pretty badass, though. But I don't, I don't know. It'd be really hard to... Yeah, I mean, obviously... But One Punch Man is, like... He's not a realistic character. He's a, a character played off of Superman to show how ridiculous Superman is as a superhero. So, yes... He, that is like one of my favorite animes of all time like I love that anime it's so funny and so amazing but again it's like a a little spoof off of it so I don't know how that would go but yeah he's he's amazing um yes Master Chief can take pretty much everyone on I would really like to see how one punch man would go but again he's a spoof so he's not meant to be like real Master Chief technically could be somewhat real when it comes to like science down the road. I don't know. You can't, you can't say, I don't know, Goku, again. Again, that would be, you know, I haven't watched much Dragon Ball, but I would like to see that fight, because I bet Master Chief with his, like, strategizing and how just smart he is, I bet he could totally just take him on. He would find his weak spot and exploit that, and then boom, down down for the count. Alright, well, I didn't want to make this too long, I just wanted to share that one question for that one person that asked, which I cannot remember their name, so I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna go post this on my YouTube, so you can check it out there if you haven't watched all of it. Alright, oh, Kyle, Kyle Master Chief, okay. <laughs> Kyle. Yeah, I would like to see Kyle, all the Kyles versus Master Chief, that would be funny. That would be funny. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Watch my video tomorrow I'm going to be posting. It's going to be 10 um, need-to-knows, the top 10 need-to-knows about when you're playing Halo. So it's going to just, I'm going to basically kind of go over, I'm going to take some screenshots on uh, the Xbox. Sorry, my Xbox is back there. And I'm going to just kind of throw together a little video explaining what you need to know if you're kind of a noob in Halo which I'm kind of a noob now, but I at least remember the tactics. So, it's just my accuracy sucks right now. I just need to practice that. Um, and I also, like, completely choke when I get into a sticky situation, and, yeah, that's not good. Um, but, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Um, go subscribe to my YouTube channel and to watch more stupid things that I talk about. And, have a nice day!